If you're asked to find the derivative of cosec x, how exactly do you do that? Now, first things first, when it comes to finding the derivative of cosec x, your first task is this. If I'm given that y is equal to cosecant or cosec x, now note that cosec x is the same thing as saying 1 all over sine x. So in essence, cosec is simply the inverse of sine. That's it. So that means if I say y is equal to cos x, so if I say y is equal to cosec x, it's the same as me saying that y is equal to 1 all over sine x. All right, so I would have to differentiate this. Now to differentiate this, again, I would have to use the quotient rule concept because I can see that this one here is being divided by sine x. And if I'm to use quotient rule, don't forget that in quotient rule, we'll take the numerator as u and we'll take the denominator as v. Hence, hence we'll say let u be equal to the numerator, which is 1. We'll have that du all over the x, which means differentiating 1, which is a constant, would we'll give you 0. Also, let v be equal to denominator, which is sine x, would we'll have that dv all over dx. Now, dv dx simply means I'm differentiating sine x. And if I differentiate sine x, I'll have... And if I differentiate sine x, I'll have cosine x, all right? We've already explained all of this in our previous class on how to differentiate all the differentiation of trigonometric function, all right? So you can search for the differentiation of trigonometric functions in the differentiation playlist, all right? So go to playlist, look for differentiation, then you see a video on the differentiation of trigonometric functions, right? So you get all of this from there. All right, so having said so, for this case, we'll be using product rule. For this case, we'll be using quotient rule. So using quotient rule. So let's use quotient rule. Now, what does quotient rule say? Now, from quotient rule, we'll have that dy over dx is equal to v du over dx minus u dv all over dx all divided by v squared so all over v squared so let's impute values this is equal to first things first i have v what exactly is v v is equal to sine x so v gives you sine x into d over dx d over dx is equal to zero so that's into zero minus next up we have u u is equal to one so minus one into dv over dx dv over dx is equal to cos x as you can see here so minus dv over dx is equal to cos x all over so divided by v squared um v squared What's v again? v is equal to sine x. So v squared becomes sine x all squared. So we have this. All right, proceeding further. Proceeding further, this would be equal to sine x here times 0 gives you 0 minus 1 times cos x gives you cos x all divided by so all over sine x denominator all squared so i have this and this will now be equal to zero minus cos x is minus cos x divided by below this i have as my denominator sine x all squared all right proceeding this is equal to, now we can also express this as the multiplication of two different things, all right? That means this one here can also be expressed as saying minus 1 all over sine x multiplied by cos x all over sine x. And if we check this, we'll have that minus 1 times cos x gives you 
the minus cos x, which is a numerator, and then sine x times sine x gives you sine x all squared, which is your denominator. Now, this will now be equal to, now, if you recall that we said 1 over sine x is equal to cosec x, um, that was here, right? 1 over sine x is equal to cosec x. In essence, at this point here, this now becomes minus 1 over sine x, as we said, is equal to cosec x multiplied by, now we are having cos x over sine x. Here's something we know. We know that tan x from previous classes is equal to sine x all over cos x. In essence, if I flip this upside down, this is all over 1. So if I flip this one here upside down, I would have 1 over tan x is equal to, flip this upside down, you'd have cos x all over sine x. Now, this has a name. The, the name for 1 over tan x is called cot x. So cot x simply means 1 all over tan x. So if that's true, bringing the idea here, this is equal to cos x over sine x, we've said is called cot x. So we have this. Hence, if I multiply this, multiply these two, you'd have that dy all over dx is equal to minus cosec x cot x. That's your answer, right? All right, so if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like this video. All right, so hit the like button, right? Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment, tell us your observation, and tell us if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, right? Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe if it's your first time. And don't forget to do well to share this video to your friends so that they can also learn, all right? I've explained everything you need to know about differentiation on my differentiation playlist, all right? So go to the playlist, look for differentiation. You learn everything about differentiation from the very scratch. Thank you very much and see you in the next class.